might blow your line. Because, you know, an actor goes up, you know, in the old days they had what was called the prompter, which uh, would be uh, out on stage, but he would be in a little encasement, and uh, a person would blow a line. And even now in theater, you still have uh, uh, people to be working, and the stage manager, my stage manager has to keep right up with the dialogue on the script because the actor would get out and he'd get in the position and he'd say, and he blows. He said, line. Stage man is supposed to shoot the line right to him. So he picks right up and keeps going. And so uh, that was very important that you knew your lines. I'll tell you, I, on, I, did, on, I, tell you, I did two leads on the Pell Big Story. On one of them uh, was set in Raleigh, North Carolina. And it, uh, it was workers who worked at a garage, a city garage. And I was one of the workers. I was the only black worker. No, there was another one, too. But uh, there's a guy who was Shylocking, you know, loaning money and at some exorbitant rate and so on. And he was in cahoots with the guy who ran the garage. And so he would loan you, say, $10, and he's going to get 12 back or 15 back, whatever it was. And uh, so what he would do, he would come and when the guy payday, he would set up his set up right next to the pay guy with his pistol on the counter. And when you got paid, the next stop was him and give him what he had coming and so on. And uh, I rebelled, but I just got tired of it and, and rebelled. <laughs> and uh, so... Uh, when I rebelled, he picked up his pistol and threatened to shoot me. He told me, you pay off. And I said, I'm not paying, but I paid off because he's got the pistol in my hand. But I went down to, to City Hall and made a complaint. And uh, they investigated. And sure enough, they, but that, it, what, but what happened was, when I went down to make the complaint that night, they found out about he found out about they had his goons come to my house and threaten to 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 destroy my house and destroy my family and so on and so on if I went down and, and made my appearance before I guess it was a grand jury sort of thing, you know. But what I want to tell you about learning your lines and, and, and in live days, we shot this was done at NBC and and that a, a huge studio, 8H. Studio 8H is a huge studio. And uh, I had a scene, and uh, my, next, my next scene was supposed to be in bed with my wife when his goons came to the house to threaten us. And then following that scene was a scene in, in the, at City Hall in the office, because I went down anyway. But what happened was, I, I was almost blew it because I, I thought the next scene was a scene in the office, so there I was, I'm sitting up in the office with my sumo waiting for the cameras because the cameras have to reposition, and then I see all of a sudden, I see all of the cameras focusing all the way down the end of the studio on the bed scene, and then, oh my God, I realized that that's where I'm supposed to be. And I ran down and, and ran down and, and and, and got under the cover, still dressed, got under the cover and pulled the cover up, up, up over here over my head so that you couldn't see that I had all the shirt and tie and so on and did the scene like that in the bed. When I got up, I got up with the blanket up around me like this because this is live. There's no take two other than that. You know, you'd say cut and take two. And, uh, and did that scene, then, then the next scene was there. But I jumped the stage manager because the stage manager should have been on top of it for me. You know, I'm a stage manager. I know the stage manager should have, should have caught that, you know. <laughs>